Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. This is uh, saving your disaster campaign, the failed Psy Rush. Uh, that is uh, the name of this campaign. And we'll be in episode number 4 of it. Uh, this is Legendary Iron Man. My name is Saiken. And just to refresh our memories, the last time that uh, we uh, looked at the campaign, we were trying to regain South Africa. Unfortunately, there is a terror attack, a retaliation strike in South Africa on war, which we're definitely not allowed to lose, unless we want to uh, be forced to reclaim South Africa. Now, just before we um, started uh, the terror mission, or just before the terror mission happened, we researched magnetic weapons, but only had the monetary funds to actually buy the shotguns. That's the reason why we are having to rangers on this particular mission um, it is in the midst of uh, the um, of the area um, of one of the chosens the assassin and i feel that that's going to be a very very difficult uh, fight specifically because we can't really spot her out i don't have scanning protocol i really don't have anything um, plus we're having low hit points which is always a very good sign that something's gonna go terribly wrong. If I wouldn't, if I would only take one specialist with us, right? That we take, that we take a specialist instead. We have one um, assault with us, but a specialist instead would actually have a bit more healing. Let me consider that fully. Yeah, by thinking about it, maybe I was too greedy. I mean, she's tired, and it's gonna suck to have her um, for force march on this run. She's probably going to have some psychological damage afterwards, but it's somewhat necessary to do it, because elsewise this is gonna be a problem for us. If we fail this mission, we're losing an entire region. So, in order to cover her psychic or her stress uh, stress uh, level, she's actually going to take one of the new helmets. Gosh, not all of them fit for a specialist. Well, she's taking this one. It's not a new one, but I still like the design. All right. Without further ado, let's jump directly into this mission. I got the distinct feeling that I'm going to regret moving on to the terror mission. In position for deployment. Terror missions are usually very fast paced, so we will need to save as many of the civilians as humanly possible. With a Chosen on top of them, they are just nasty and probably one of the most hated chosen in my, uh, um, in, in my book for the early game is the assassin. The warlock is going to be much worse in the later game. So yeah, the optimal case would have been no, no chosen at all, but the assassin in the early game is very strong. Let me remind you as well, we so far have only the shotguns uh, upgraded, that's the only weapon that we've upgraded, and nothing else. We don't even have armor, which means we're paper soldiers. position for deployment on this one okay that's fine we don't need a concealed clear. position on this one Redford we want the conflict Yeah. Affirmative. Moving out. 
getting into position. Double Already move. There. Good to go. So in case we're uh, we're oh, meeting me. berserks, uh, which are absolutely famous for terror missions, uh, we do have parry now. So that's why I wanted to take the Templar with us. Oh no, come on. So many have already Gosh, that's not good. So, Chosen takes increased damage from explosives. We have them. Is uh, taking increased damage from Reapers, which we certainly don't have. Can summon Savage Allies. I hope she can't summon Berserks. That would really suck. Is immune to melee damage. Okay, that's fine. We can tank the Berserk uh, or whatever she's summoning with our Templar in the meantime. And she has Shadow Step. So she doesn't trigger any uh, Overwatch. And yet my work is never done. Sounds like that Chosen is headed right for us. Keep your guard up and your eyes peeled. They are as peeled as, as ever, Redford. Believe me. Okay, so the Chosen started here, which means she's going to be with us in two turns from now. Need to be a bit careful. Roger that. So far, none of uh, the typical issues that uh, that you're having on um, uh, on these missions have started to materialize. So we haven't lost a civilian. That's good. We haven't engaged like two or three packs. That's good as well. Maybe it's really mostly the chosen. Overwatch doesn't really help us because she's going to be immune against any overwatch shot. It's just if we're going to meet a pack, Overwatch could help us, but only against the pack, not against the chosen. Alright, there we go. Is she already going to reach us? If not, if not this turn, it's going to be definitely going to be next the turn. End is coming. Yeah, I believe that. What a fitting way to say it. The end indeed is coming. Of course, no one's moving far enough so that we could actually hit them. This is for you. And of course, number two, we are again not having a clear sight onto the mech. Somehow the mechs always manage to be like 
just barely out of range. Air trigger. Oh, hell yeah, believe me, we're going to use that. Target neutralized. If the elders had expected more, then I wouldn't be here. I need no help from them. They are nothing more than a distraction. Yeah, well... <clears throat> It's not really that aid protocol helps against the Chosen. The Chosen has a 100% hit rate. The, the Katanas can never miss. At least as far as I know. So, all of this is pointless against the uh, Chosen. Helps against the Berserk, but that's about it. Now, it's probably time for the Chosen to appear. I'm not afraid about the Berserk because we can one-on-one -on -one him, whilst the other four take care about the Chosen. There it is. My time is getting shorter. I'm not going to of the false gods. You will join your compatriots soon enough. Perhaps if you stopped allowing your troops well, so to be so much captured, for the one -on -one. you wouldn't expend so much effort in recovering them. It's one of the Elders Chosen. So I mentioned it before. Gilbot coming through. The Stabilize actually is helpful. The reason why I bring him back up is someone needs to, or her, someone needs to take care about this berserk here. We're going to parry. into a flanking position and what I want to do since she can be shell-shocked so she takes extra damage from grenades I want to explode the car to give her some extra damage this here should well, it dealt 8 damage We're spreading out, just to make sure we're not being uh, being targeted by her with Harbor Wave. There we go. Very, very decent damage. So the explosion of the car dealt double damage as well. And now it's a matter of actually hitting her. Unfortunately, isn't that easy. There is no place you can hide from me. So we can attack once per circle attack, then parry, and rinse and repeat. His enrage, his bad breath, is not going to stop us from continuing to fight it. <laughs> Alright, she very, very clearly hates the guts of, um, We've got a uh, of our Get Templar, the chosen do. main target. Okay. 
unfortunately don't have run and gun. So we're taking the one with the lowest damage, which is our Copy that. Um, specialist. She needs to revive. Oh no. She's. Oh no. Well, that's going to suck. Should have done it with anyone else because we could have healed and thus removed um, the negative effect. Actually need to kill the Berserk now, or at least try. Come on, baby. No one will shed a tear. They fall just as they serve, without question or regret. Is she going to vanish? She may be just not attacking the Templar, please. Oh, that's an extra enemy. Oh, lucky us, it's just a faceless one. Okay, so let's heal, because that's effectively going to be our main tank here. Yep, but yet again. So I'm just trying to figure out if the Chosen has positioned herself somewhere near. So far the answer is no, we'll find her. Rock and roll. Gosh, what a what an intense battle against the chosen. to three hit points. Yeah, Alright, reloading go. and I would just try to really get a bit away to not be in the middle of a harbor wave. And it would be nice if she wouldn't again backstep the same character. Well, she certainly did not do that. For once, she was trying to backstep someone else. Grasp at the frayed edges of your life. I move among the reeds. You are outmatched, and your time is running short, Commander. Orders confirmed. Moving out. That will 
will not be enough to stop me. No, it will not. The problem is... I don't really know if we have enough to stop you. It's just she has so much movement and since she's immune against any melee attack I'm really not sure how to counter that down here and it wouldn't be any problem at all she has so much movement Onward. location confirmed and against her uh, it's also irrelevant whether or not I take um, cover because she's anyways just moving into the next best, best position so she's seldomly of never using her shotgun Yeah, I mean blinded. So what? Come on, kill her. That is not good. <sighs> On my way. I cannot be so easily dissuaded. Even reach her. Let's do this. Tired of waiting around. Yeah, I, I might as well not attack with the uh, with the Templar. She's completely immune against anything that she she would be doing. No one Overwatch, likewise. Oh my god, still haven't gotten her down. Okay. You are the only one to have ever forced my withdrawal, and now you leave me no choice but to flee once again. So the question is, do we I'm let sure the sniper we'll die? Again, but that chosen sure wasn't expecting the fight we put up today, Commander. And the answer is no. I don't want to use, uh, lose any units, but that means we need to make a tough decision. Eight hit points. Five hit points. Probably going to use our grenadier because she only has two more hit points, and the only thing that she brings to the table is a grenade. What's over there? Moving to Overwatch. My senses are keen.
Okay, let's make sure Thought we're not fucking it. up uh, the rescue here, shall we? Nah, we're going to be fine. I can't afford to move back now. We march towards enlightenment. You know there are more berserkers down the road. Picking up the sniper. Packing it in. And that's at least saving the sniper. So we still got a chance to win the whole mission. But it will require a lot of focus. So we got civilians over here. There is hope, guys. There is hope. Where there are civilians, there is hope. For the cause. Uh, I'm going. Scanning. I'll keep a watchful eye. Got it covered. Still, at least two faceless ones exist in this map, and faceless ones can one-shot us. To victory! You don't belong here. Nice. It's one out of six. Many, many, many civilians here. We know that there is an enemy near. The civilians could be faceless ones, but I'm fine. Come on, have that force is sighted. Okay. Damn. going to be the last pack for us. We need to first and foremost take care about the advent mech. With a massive amount of armor, well, it's easier said than done. Spreading out far enough so we're not taking the risk of receiving grenades. It's down to one hit point. This here would be in. Uh, this here would risk grenades again. Shit. It's either risking grenades or being useless. I don't want. We need to risk grenades. We can't hit the. Me uh, yeah, we need to kill it. Yeah. Because the best tactic, indeed, is to just to just kill it. The berserk is not so much of an issue. It's going to run into our direction. Yeah. Welcome. Hey. Great to have you with us. What an enjoyable party it is. Oh. Advent has come. <laughs> Getting better and better. Uh, 
So there's yet another mech. Time for a strategic reassessment of our cover, i.e. let's chicken out. I would say the main issue is that we're fighting against mind control and a couple of other really nasty effects at the same time. Purifier, uh, come on. Nice, good job. Very, very well done. Just a bit too slow, that's an issue. Moving to here isn't good either. Standing here is even worse. I mean, it's full cover, but this guy is not going to take a shot. He's definitely going to go for mind control. And then he will leave us in a difficult position because we only have this one flashbang grenade. And we will need it in order to let the Berserk uh, take care about the Berserk. Which means, like it or not, we will hope that this guy here is an actual civilian. Move, move, move! You're clear! Move out! Alright, Harry. A little blade storm retaliation and parried. Berserk under control. We can live with the stasis, that's okay. Mind control would have been worse. We're now going to lo lose a couple of civilians. Moving here, into cover, that is. Continuing the 101. Such a nice flanking shot. Unfortunately, we missed. The car behind him begins to uh, begins to burn. That's not the worst. The Berserk soon is going to die. A little bit longer. civilians now that's an issue done with killing yeah. we're almost done with killing the berserk 
it keeps us just occupied. So there's one more shot after the, uh, one more strike after this with Blake's stone. There we go. Shit, just vote short of hitting him. Taking full shot. cover. It will take more. What's over there? We can lose one more civilian still make the mission. So close, this guy is in such a good position. Moving into the next full cover. You know what? Meg needs to die as well, and we're very likely that we're not going to kill this guy. The Meg is almost down. This is a mind control stasis, okay? Which means the Meg is the only one who could take a shot. So we're max in, in maximum one to lose one, maybe even zero. Okay, suppression. Moving closer. Come on, let's hit the mech. Big deal. Running dry. A focused strike of power. Whoa. Torment us no longer. Whoa. I can't believe we made it. Just need to finish the two faces once. That's about it. They will run into our direction. We even got three faces once, so that's a mimic beacon. Come on down. Moving up to get a better shot. Very solid damage. Uh, I'm going. Moving away from the other face, this one, to gain some more distance. Yep, and I think we got the other uh, one. Perfect. Bring it on, buddy. Come here. We'll give our Templar even more XP. Wow, that was a difficult mission. 
We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Got five ability points. Three wounded soldiers, but none lost. Very, very close retaliation mission. That's this as close as it gets, and I can understand that uh, if you are not as used to play with like limited resources, that this here would probably be too much for you. But um, as I was saying originally, I mean, you don't even need to get into this position. You could, by this time in the game, you could have powered armor um, and um, complete magnetic weapons. They wouldn't have shit on. Plus, of course, squad size 2, which would make a huge difference to have another soldier with us. Anyhow. The elders chosen are incredibly resilient. Wound, gravely Despite wounded, gravely wounded, gravely wounded. Today, we still have much to learn. And I think she's also wounded because she was tired before and we forced her onto this uh, mission. Our Templar um, got even more AP. Because she's gifted, I love it. 33% chance to generate focus, I like it. Um, I started to like the pillar more and more. Um, it's a good way to advance and sometimes also to, to create full cover if you need to go into an exposed position. But we're going to go with um, Amplify first. It's just a very strong all-around skill and let's give her overcharge because there is really no upper limit on uh, how much focus you can get uh, generate. Really good. I like it. So we got our um, we got our regular income increased from the region. Got three faceless corpses, which isn't bad either. Hello, commander. And yeah, there you go. Twenty-one extra supplies. And like I said, our. Specialist is now tired for 12 days and she just acquired, I think, the f um, no, I don't blame Emma Schwartz. Uh, that's our, time, uh, that's point, our Templar. We need all the help she acquired um, Fear of the Chosen. So, yeah, the main team is definitely out of combat. Actually, every almost everyone is out of combat except a couple of squaddies. <laughs> okay. But we clawed back from this very, very dire situation. We could investigate additional um, income. I would rather establish contact because that's automatically more income. And then afterwards I'm torn between more intel and more regional income because we actually have also have an issue with our regional income. 190 is not a lot. That's the last soldier, or the last rookie, training to become a sniper, which I think means we have no more rookies. Which isn't the worst um, situation to be in. Having all, uh, having all proper squaddies is fine. Squaddies at that point, however, are probably not making the cut anymore. Um, let's continue making contact. Signal's coming through clear. New regional contact located. The 
local resistance operatives we just made contact with so in South region. America Warned is the next big thing terrorizing the area for some time now here's the Intel they've collected so far and just where do you think you're going if it's a fight you're after you better bring everything you've got So making contact would Commander, be too expensive, right now, we first need to build a link and we need more intel. The local so the reason why I want to make contact here guys is this is a 3 blips uh, facility. So very Avengers likely for us point. if we're actually going to do this facility that we have um, somewhat saved the, um, the avatar, the doom clock from, from ticking down. If we want to sell something we need to be a bit careful. Sectored corpses can be used for mine shields, so I'll, I would keep them. Uh, priest corpses can actually be sold, but are not very valuable. I would keep all of the advent stuff. Purifier is okay. We can sell a couple of the trooper corpses, but remember we need 12 for the armor upgrade. Places corpses are in demand, but we're certainly not selling them. So yeah, we're somewhat okay with our cash, but we need more cash. So either we're going for supplies or we're going for intel. The regional increase is not necessary at the moment. I think we're going for intel because we only have 12 intel. And we need 80 in order to make the next uh, the contact the next region. Our research in remarkable time, Commander. That needs to be built in order to get to um, to Brazil. Now, moving on, we can either 14 days invest 14 days to get the remaining weapon upgrades, or we're going for armor upgrades. And I think at this point. We might invest the 14 days to to get the other weapons upgraded. It's just such a big upgrade. I will make that our highest priority. We also got an Intel collection covered uh, right. covered action. Radio relays in any region where we've made contact with the local resistance, Commander. The aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. So this is 41 Intel, and we'll remember, it Together, gave us a health increase on uh, Patricia Hernandez. That's exactly what we wanted. And I know there was another health increasing mission. We got ability points, which is always really nice, but I know we had this here, which is a six day mission plus one health. Easy peasy. Um, and a seven day mission, which is even more easy. Uh, and we need supply more than long term income. Like this year would take 10 months to, um, to amortize. This year would immediately amortize itself and it only needs an engineer which we anyways have left over so we're going to do that let me check which soldier we're going to use for it uh, we probably have a couple of candidates she currently sits at eight hit points which isn't bad Raul our frontliner however has only six hit points okay fair enough he's a rank lower than her but uh, he's the only ranger uh, that is of a high level and I'm currently trying to balance um, somewhat who more um, who needs who needs hit points because we don't have armor and even if you have armor I want to make sure that the guy that's that was playing this uh, playthrough has a bit of a cushion to be at least hit once without immediately losing someone so we're going to send Raul uh, Jimenez onto the mission to give him this extra hit point. There is a free... Uh, wait a second... Which engineer would we take? Yeah, we are going to take 
the one that's clearing the alien debris. And as a soldier, we are again taking Cradle Mox. No risks involved, 7 days, he gets plus 1 uh, hit points, pretty straightforward. So let's continue with it and I think afterwards we're, we're going to go for the increased income um, just to get that extra health on top of it. At the moment we, are, we need to invest a bit in our soldiers. This here is scary. Supply drop in 20 hours, which means the month is already over. We're then going into month number 5. Oh shit, that's, that's going to hurt. So, we could start installing the radio relay. And I'm all up for this. Because our avatar project keeps continuing and we need to make contact, so... Yeah. Let's install that. Setting course for West Africa. And let's make sure we have enough intel to actually make contact. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. Leading the Okay, we couldn't prevent task, the progress Commander, that was happening, and we couldn't so prevent the facility construction, but you can see that right we did like our dearest to just fight back. Better. This is okay. Yeah, that's okay as well. This here would be a problem. We probably need to prevent that. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. This here is bad. This is really bad. Specifically, since we do have so, uh, since we have so low hit points, all Advent soldiers now have a chance to reanimate as psionic zombies. Oh my gosh! We're taking the shredding again. Although XP gain would also be nice, but we re re really need to take the shred. However, We also need to contact South uh, South America, and we are full on resistance contacts. It sucks, but we need to take the plus one resistance contact and upgrade our um, upgrade our facility so we can take a second resistance order. You are the boss. Avenger plotting new course. Gosh. Hello, that's exactly what I was looking for. Commander, this facility will allow our Finally, we're going to go to the training center in just a second. Let me first start excavating further. It's a good starting point. Um, let me then upgrade this here, insufficient power. Well, let's empty it. Let's put someone on power. And let's try this again. Upgrade. There you go. Okay, we can't do it during the months. I, I, I thought that uh, free slots could be acquired during the months, but that's okay. I mean, it's not going to be the end of the world not to have it. The resistance contacts were more important, but now we at least have a solid starter. Uh, going on forward, we might want to at least get level 1 here to have more orders going. Probably should focus also a bit on that. And as for the training center, let's train some abilities. And preferably with the highest level characters. So we would have Serial, which is an absolute monster ability. Love it. Um, Ever Vigilant is not bad, but holo targeting is better. 
blast padding, however, given the current circumstances where we stand, is probably the best ability that we could get. Believe it or not, I mean, I would probably even take all the targeting on top of it, which we can even buy with our points. We need survivability. You might disagree, but if you're a one-shot, that it, it just helps no one. Um, we already leveled her up. What's happening with Godfather here? I mean, him not having uh, lightning hands is, in my opinion, a huge waste. So we're going to give this to him. Lightning hands is such a strong skill, I wouldn't know why you would uh, skill dead eye over it. Lightning hands is just very, very strong. So giving it to him is the right decision. Chain shot and serial. Okay, she's going to be our main. She's definitely going to be our main specialist. Run gun is also fine. I mean, she's not a bad specialist. That uh, let's not get that. Uh, uh, let's not di uh, display it in the wrong way. But this here, serial and chain shot. If she has death from above on top of it, that would she would probably be uh, the the best. Uh, the best. Uh, potential character that uh, set um, that you could get for a specialist. We're going to give her Haywire because it's such a good ability on top of her medical skills. I really am impressed by Haywire and we need to then also look into Raul Chimeres because he will be the f f fourth member. So the main group would be uh, Holly here, uh, the Grenadier. Then as a specialist we're going to take Shifter, we're going to take uh, Prophet uh, as a Templar, we're going to take uh, Godf Godfather and Raul once he's back. So that's kind of the group that I'm envisioning. Um, just out of curiosity because, I mean, theoretically others could have enough points, but I somewhat doubt it because people were dying left and right. So yeah, no one had any ability um, action points or ability points. We could give her um, Haywire Protocol. It's maybe not even a bad decision, but it would take from our pool. So let's leave it. Let's leave it like this for now. Uh, Guerrilla Tactics School. When can we get uh, Squad Size Two? Requires Captain, so we need one more rank. Good. That was a substantial progress. You shouldn't underestimate the skills that you could buy and not using not using these points is pretty wasteful. Now, we can't we we could buy something from the black market, but we can't afford it because it's we we need more intel after the supply drop. We need to build the radio relay and make contacts. We're already pretty, pretty messed up. The UFOs usually happen uh, when the game realizes that you're in dire need of resources. So the game realizes we need Alarium and Alloys. The only thing that we're not getting out of it is Intel, but the UFO missions are usually quite difficult. So I'm going to prepare our team and then we're going to launch the UFO mission in our next series. Thank you so much for watching. It uh, certainly is an interesting uh, recovery. And see you in the next episode.